What about those first steps, Christella? Uh, Lucy says, um, we've had a few negative experiences. Her 16-year-old son tells her he is transgender. He wants to be referred to as her, not a he. What is the first step I need to take to accept this? What's your advice to Lucy? Really to accept that some children identify not in that binary of male and female. Some, for some kids it's fluid, their gender, and society imposes lots of, lots of uh, conventions on people. But as it's coming out more and more... What does fluid mean? Does fluid mean you can't pin it down? Or does fluid mean they would go, go from one to the other and back again? It could, it could manifest as a confusion, just not being sure. Sometimes they, they like dressing up in the opposite gender. They like playing with the opposite gender toys. And, and I think parents, it's advisable to keep that quite loose to, to let the child express themselves and if it's a persistent thing and the child's unhappy that's when you know um, that, that, that that you should get some specialist and help. At 16 I mean this is her, her son at 16 saying I, I you know I am transgender and I want you to be to call me her do you then have to go with that at 16 or should you try and go with that? I think that the parents should, should, should try and go with that really and get some support for themselves I mean it is a loss for a parent on some level of course and there's an adjustment so they need just as much as support as the child. It's interesting Sarah said this morning you know they're still my children you know that's never changed. That's it you're a parent first. Changed in a lot of people's eyes but for her they're still her, yeah. her kids yeah